Okay, um, so this is Dr. RJB again, or as my patients know me, Dr. Bruno, um, and uh, um, uh, uh, I guess I'll, I should tell you, RJB just, uh, is actually just my initials. So I just spelled out my initials because I needed a domain name, um, domain name for my website. Um, then they didn't have Dr. Bruno or, or anything. I wound up uh, just spelling out my initials. So that's how Dr. RJB came about. Okay, so in any event, um, I want to discuss uh, older fitness. Um, you know, as we get older, uh, many things happen to us. Um, and one of the things that happens is there's a change in our fitness level. Um, even if you were in great shape uh, when you were younger, as you get old, certain things happen to you that uh, kind of changes things. And, you know, in um, many cases, you can actually tell um, some of these things happening. Um, uh, we basically have a loss of muscle um, as we age. Um, it actually starts around the age of 30 and will slowly progress over time, about 1% uh, uh, per year. Um, so that by the time you get into the 60s, um, you start noticing uh, things changing. Um, before that time, you may be able to cope uh, by changing the way you do things. But once you get into the 60s, it becomes a little bit more obvious that something is going on. Um, you might notice that it takes a little bit more effort going up the stairs. Um, you might notice that uh, when you walk, you're walking a little slower. Um, you might notice when you're trying to lift things that um, things that should be um, uh, relatively um, easy to pick up are now hard to pick up. So basically um, what's, been, what's happening is that uh, you're losing muscle um, mass and you're losing strength um, as you uh, age. Um, so uh, older people, it's especially important to try to do some resistance training to increase the strength and increase the muscle mass. Um, now, I personally, um, when I started noticing um, the loss of strength, started doing weight training. Um, and over time, I've developed it so that I'm a lot stronger now. Um, I was at the point where I couldn't open up a jar uh, because my hand strength was too weak. Um, I was at the point where if I helped my wife with uh, groceries, um, I would be so tired afterwards, I'd have to go lay down. Um, my uh, back would hurt from doing any kind of lifting. And again, I'd have to take care of it. So, you know, and it might be hurting for the next three or four days. Um, since I've been increasing my strength doing the uh, weight training, um, my back is doing a lot better. Um, my strength is much better. Um, so I can lift packages. I can bring groceries into the house. And I don't have to lay down. I don't even feel tired. Um, if I had uh, a jar to be opened, I can do it now because my hand grip strength is much better. So these are things that you can do. Now, um, uh, you might say, I don't want to have to lift weights. Well, don't have to. You can do calisthenics too. Um, do a lot of push-ups, and I guarantee you that uh, your uh, strength in your arms and strength in your upper body is going to increase. Um, you can do body weight squats, and you'll be strengthening your legs using the weight of your own body. Um, uh, you can do different other uh, calisthenics like sit-ups. Um, uh, different things to basically strengthen um, the muscles of your body. Um, so um, it is possible to um, do this without doing weight training. Uh, but most of the research studies on um, the loss of strength and aging have been done using weight training. Um, so we know that it works. Um, now, um, because uh, when you're older, it's harder to recover from exercise, it's a good idea to start out, uh, at least initially, only working out three times a week with at least one day in between uh, the workouts to recover. Um, so let's just say you work out on Saturday, you skip Sunday, work out Monday, skip Tuesday, work out Wednesday, and then either um, uh, 
because uh, Saturday is coming up, then maybe just skip uh, Thursday and Friday. Um, um, now, um, the other thing is uh, that you want to do uh, some form of progressive resistance uh, to increase the strength. So let's just say you're doing your push-ups, and initially you start working with the push-ups where your knees are on the ground. Um, and you do so many push-ups uh, every day uh, to strengthen your arms. Well, eventually you want to get your knees off the ground so that more weight is on your arms. Um, uh, I think they said that when your knees are on the ground, uh, the amount of weight on your arms is about 40% of your body weight. And when your knees are off the ground, it's up to about 60 to 80%. So by changing the positioning, uh, you increase the weight. You can also put your feet up on a, uh, a box or, or a chair so that now you're heading downhill and that also increases the amount of weight that's being thrown on your arms. Um, of course, uh, you know, uh, sit-ups, you can do more sit-ups um, or, or possibly um, hold a uh, certain weight in your arms as you do the sit-up to increase the resistance. Um, uh, body weight squats, um, you, you can do more of them. Or you can, again, hold a uh, weight of some sort um, in your arms um, to, while you're doing the body weight squats. And it could be any, any weight. You know, you got a, you know, a sack of flour that weighs five pounds. Great, you got a five pound weight. Um, holding your arms to your squats, you just added five pounds to your squats. So um, that's the way. But like I said, it's a lot easier if you have a set of dumbbells or you have an adjustable dumbbell or you have a barbell set where you can add or subtract weights. Um, this way you can kind of play around with the amount of weight that you lift um, and either increase it or decrease it depending on how you're feeling. Um, uh, it's also a good idea to take care of your cardio fitness by going for long walks, uh, jogging, bike riding, uh, swimming. All these things are good for your health. Um, and your cardiovascular uh, fitness. Um, uh, do all these things, uh, and over time, you're going to increase your fitness. Um, and um, it has been shown when you have a, a, a fit body that you also have a lot less um, problems um, because uh, um, you're able to do things without straining. Okay, just a little word on this, and um, uh, uh, check out other videos for me too.